Now back to the other big corporate story of the morning. Under Armour CEO Kevin Plank is stepping down from that job next year. He'll be succeeded by Chief Operating Officer Patrick Frisk. Plank will become executive chairman. The two executives sitting down with CNBC's Courtney Reagan right now. Courtney. Thank you very much, Becky. Appreciate it. We are here in Baltimore, and we are joined by both Kevin Plank and Patrick Frisk. Gentlemen, thank you for being here with us today. Good morning. Welcome, So, Kevin, you started this company in 1996, yeah. took it public in 2005. You've been running it ever since. Why is now the time that you're moving to executive chairman and brand chief? Yeah, what, what an awesome, I think, American entrepreneurial story and what I'm so proud of. And what's important is that we make this an eternal brand. And part of doing that, first and foremost, is that this is my decision to get to this moment of the ability to work and, frankly, have enough partnership where Patrick and I complement each other so well. And the ability for the business, as we said the last time we, we talked with you, the company's really moving from defense to offense. And the ability and the opportunity we have to do that is something that we think is really, really next generation. So I think right now there couldn't be a better time for us to do it. You're about to see this brand really begin to unleash. And, uh, uh, you know, I think it's going it, to it'll empower us. I think it's going to be uh, freedom. I think it's going to allow Patrick yeah. to be able to make decisions to run the day to day and really allow me to make the decision to continue the vision and think about what's next for this brand and where we can go. So great partnership. And so you said that this was your choice. So this was not board pressure. This was oh, all you? No, no. This, this is, I've got a great board. And so I've got feedback from my board. And we use their input as well as a lot of smart people around, including Patrick and the executive team. And I think this is, this is the right time for that to happen. I've been, you know, this will be my 56th earnings call coming up. And so, like, we've done this. We've, we've, we've been down this. We've, we've done this a number of times. So now it's, uh, it's, a, great, it's, a, it's a great opportunity. So I'm really proud, really excited. Patrick, you joined Under Armour in yeah. July of 2017. Yes. Was this always the plan for you? We certainly discussed it early on, but the first step that we had to do was really start the transformation that we're currently in. And I think that's what's so great about this transition is it's been planned, um, and we're going to continue to run the same plan that we've put in place with the entire executive team. And that's what's so exciting also for our teammates, the fact that this is about continuity. This is about, you know, running the play. This is about turning from defense to offense. And we believe we have a strong plan in place. And, and we now want to be able to free up Kevin to be more strategic in terms of how he thinks about what he does and then allow me to do uh, do what I do with more freedom as well. So I th we think it's a perfect combination. But this, this is in retirement. Um, I've, I've got my office. It'll be there January 1st and 2nd. So we'll continue to work in Iraq. So there's nothing changing as, as Patrick will continue to report into me. Um, and, you know, we'll make sure we've got the ability to really divide and conquer is the way we're thinking about this. Is this really, I think, elevates me, it elevates Patrick and, and puts us both in a position to really be able to drive this global brand, which we have a massive opportunity with. You just said nothing changes. Something changes, no? I mean, you become CEO, yes, so there has to be correct. some yeah. level yeah. of change. Oh, of, course. of course, yeah. And, and I think, you know, the great thing about the announcement today is that this is a transition till January 1st. So it gives the organization time to settle in. I think for us, there will be change. I mean, I'll be running the company day to day, but it also allows Kevin, you know, to become more strategic in terms of how we think about elevating product, how we think about, you know, big strategic marketing ideas. So I think it's a complementary thing. It's about, you know, running the place that we put in place, but then also complementing each other and allowing Kevin to do what he does really well and me to allow me to run the company, which I believe uh, I can do pretty well. So I said freedom. It's that, you know, somebody needs to have their hands in the wheel and you can't have two people yelling saying, go left, go right. <laughs> and so ultimately, like, I'm, I'm going to be there and we'll make our, our, our inputs and our suggestions. We'll drive on a strategic basis, we'll make sure we're aligned with that. But Patrick on a day-to-day -day basis has to be able to, you know, turn that wheel. And that's where um, I think he's, a, you know, the ability to have a 30-plus year, most of which was spent in this industry, a uh, veteran being able to come and join, having the, the ability to work together side by side the last two and a half years and really get to, you know, be in boardrooms together, you know, sweat together in gyms, like understand each other and just see the, uh, I think, the, the discipline in the machine. It's something that we're going to finish this, this operational executional play for Under Armour. And meanwhile, we're going to continue to blow people's minds with the world's greatest product. And so when you put that combination together, we think it's... Uh, a little nitroglycerin, as we said. <laughs> Patrick, you've said before there are two people here but one voice. Yes. Does that continue, or does, is there more of a separation? Clearly, you're still working with the founder of a company. Yes. So yeah. how much independence can you have? Well, first of all, I'm very honored today, you know, of Kevin giving me this trust to, to do and to lead, you know, one of the most iconic brands that the world has ever seen in sporting goods. 
In terms of the reporting, it doesn't change. I still report into Kevin uh, as he elevates. However, the plan is still the plan. You know, the way that we have crafted this together over the last two years is going to remain. Uh, we're going to continue down the path that we laid out at the Investor Day last year, and we're excited about that. We're excited about now, you know, doing this together and completing the play, like Kevin said. But we will be turning from defense to offense now. That's what that's what's going to, you know going to happen in 2020. North America is still a key point that yes. needs some stabilization, yep. and you've been looking for the sales in North America to be down slightly for the year, which was a bit of a downtick from the previous guidance. But you also have a new president of North America. Yes, very She's, happy. I know only been with you maybe six weeks yes, or so if I'm yes, doing the math yes, right. But correct. do you have sort of any further developments to share about how that plan may be evolving to really reinvigorate what's happening in North America? You know, the plan that we laid out in Investor Day, we're still executing on that plan. And that plan was really to, over time, get us back to really strong growth in North America. It will take time. You know, we've said that before. Nothing has really changed since our last earnings call or since we laid out the plan. So um, the plan remains the plan. Patrick, you had said previously that Asia will be a top performing region for yes. the next five years. Yes. You have a big plan to open up many stores, and I believe about 70 percent of them will be in Asia. A lot going on both politically, economically in that country. Mm -hmm. Are you still able to go forward with that same plan in Asia? So here's the great news. You know, at Under Armour, we wake up every day thinking about what we call the focus performer. And we believe that the plan that we have for the focus performer to build things that they don't know what they need and once they have it, can't imagine living without. And the fact that our teammates around the world wake up every day thinking about how to make you better, that is the same all over the world. So for us, you know, sport as a unifier is a really important way to think about how we, you know, carry out our work every day. We haven't changed the plan for Asia. We still believe in our plan in Asia. We still believe in the plan that we laid out in December, and we're kind of continuing down that path. Yeah. You have anything to add to that, Kevin? I think it was great. <laughs> Listen to the CEO. <laughs> that is true. He is the CEO. You had talked about previously opening up a regional headquarters in Hong Kong at the yes. end of this year. Is that still part of that plan? We actually opened on, in, in July this year. We, we actually did that a little bit earlier than we thought we would have been able to, and it's working really well. And we're going to continue to focus on making sure that we we're grounded in the APAC region in, in, in Hong Kong. We're going to ground ourselves in Amsterdam, in, in EMEA, Panama, and Latin America, and, of course, here in Baltimore, in North America. Kevin, what's job number one as the new brand chief? Uh, I think supporting our team. You know, I, I, I laid out three things that I want to accomplish in this next chapter. Is number one, it's elevating our product bar and making sure that we have the world's greatest product, again, as I said, that blows minds. And you're sitting here amongst some of it in our showrooms where we get to show you some of what's coming next. Second thing is, is amplifying the brand is that, you know, we use this, the phrase of being a, a, a loud brand and a quiet company. And so we want to make sure that this chapter is something that really empowers us to do that. And then it's also just working with our team. You know, I say that is that I can't wait to, to see our teammates be out there. And this isn't a ceremonial ambassador role. Again, this is a, a real job that allows us to work with, with, with product and with marketing and really um, and out of some of the weeds and the day to day of the things that. Um, you know, I did start this in a basement. I did was a, a college athlete. You know, this is something that came naturally. And so the cool thing about the brand, I think, is when you look at it, it's real. Like, there's a real heart and soul here. And that's what I want to make sure is always front and center, that I'm not getting corporatized with that. While the organization needs to grow up, we also have the ability to really unleash what is here with that, that rawness, but also do it in the structure of a discipline, uh, which is what you see us, us building, what Patrick and I have you know, really been working toward the last few years. Yeah. What do you think about the U.S. consumer right now as we're going into the holiday season? I know we talked about this yeah. a month ago, but yes. we all know a lot can happen yeah. in a month. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look at all the change yeah. that's happened yeah. with you all. So where do you see the U.S. consumer at this point? I think the consumer is a little bit tentative. I, I think in general what's going on right now, I think everybody is kind of looking forward to the holiday season, and, and it's a little bit of apprehension out there. But I think overall, the way we think about our business, we've really, we've really got a great program going for holidays. We feel strongly about our ability to execute, but ultimately there's a little bit of apprehension for sure at the consumer level, and I think that, that's, that's how we think about it at this point in time. Patrick Frisk, Kevin Plank, yeah. thank you for joining us awesome. here this morning, and congratulations you. to you thank both. Thank you. Congrats. Thanks, We're going to send it back to you all in the studio.